Hi everyone and welcome to this video about how to upload files using FTP to your Fastos website. In this video I'm going to be using a FTP client called FileZilla but if you go to the written guide for this guide there's a link in the video description we do have a links to other FTP clients as well. So what I'm going to be doing here is I've got my website with Fastos, fastosewebinars.com. At the moment, I haven't uploaded any website files to it. So when I browse to it in a browser, I'm getting this testing123 page, which is what we'd expect for a hosting package using Linux. I want to upload my website files to this website, so it displays my website. Now, in order to do that, we need to use FTP. The first thing we need to do is find our FTP details. So what we're gonna do is go and get those from our Fastos control panel. Go to fastos.co.uk, go to the login section, and go to the control panel login. And here, just enter your usual Fastos username and password. Once you're logged in, click website hosting, and then we want to go to the package overview for the domain, and I'm uploading my files to fastoswebinars.com. So we're in the package overview screen for my domain now, and what we want to do is find those FTP details. So on the uh, this list of tiles here, find the file management tile and click on use one of mine's unlimited, but it might be you might not have unlimited. Just click on that link and that will take you to your FTP uh, overview screen. And here we can see our host name, our username and password. Now that, that might make, not make too much sense to you at this point in time, but don't worry, uh, you just need to know where to find them for now. If you don't know your FTP password, that really isn't a problem at all. Just click change password and you can just set a new one here. And there's a few rules you've got to abide by for this one, just to make sure it's nice and secure. So it's got to be at least eight characters, include lower and uppercase letters, and at least one number. And you're also permitted to use a few of the characters there. It's a good idea to include one if you can, just to keep it nice and secure. If we go back to that FTP overview screen, what we can also do here, if you don't want to use uh, this master username and password, you can also set custom FTP accounts. And that allows you just to set up new users that have got restricted access. But I'm not going to cover that in too much detail in this uh, video. We have got other, another video on that and another guide. So if you want to create additional FTP users, uh, you, we've got some help that can help you with that as well. But we're going to use the master FTP user in this video. So now we know our FTP details, we need to make that FTP connection to the website. I'm going to use FileZilla, which is just a free uh, FTP client, so it just means I've downloaded FileZilla to my computer from the internet, and now I can use that to connect using FTP. And it's it's by Mozilla, who do Firefox, so it's, uh, it's a very commonly used FTP client. So I'm just going to open that up. And here we can see uh, the uh, uh, files that are open. I need to make a new connection. I could make a one-off connection to my website by just entering the host username and password on this screen here, but because I'm going to be connecting to this website on a fairly regular basis, I'm going to add this website to my site manager so I can just connect really quickly. Potentially a little less secure in case someone, if, so if you're using a public computer, you shouldn't do this because it's going to save your password for FTP so someone could potentially log in uh, using that. So I'm going to set up this new site here and I'm going to set up a new one. So let's click new site and we'll call this fast host webinars. And we're going to enter the information here. So first up is host and that is going to be host name here, hftp.fastestwebinars.com. If for whatever reason that doesn't work, uh, you can use this raw IP address here, so 213.171.193.5 for me. Check this package overview screen for yourself because it could potentially be different, um, but that usually it is this IP address, but it's a good idea just to check that it's the same. But I can use ftp.fastestwebinars, so I'll use that. Port, you can just leave blank, but it'd be 21. Protocol is going to be FTP. Encryption needs to be only use plain FTP. Logon type needs to be normal. And then the user, and again, we can go back to our Fastos control panel. Fastoswebinars.com is our username for that one. And then your password, uh, which I showed you there how to change it if you need to. We can't display it in the control panel, but you can change it if you don't know it. So 
so there's a couple of extras you can change as well you can go into advance and you can choose your default local directory so what you'll notice um, here is you've got two panels here you've got the blank the blank panels here are would, what would be your remote site so the computer you're connecting to and the left side is your local computer so if you change the default local directory that's going to be every time you log in it's going to display that directory in this box on the left here so I'm going to go to browse for that one and I've actually got at my website file saved on my desktop here in this fastest webinars website files so I'm going to select that so every time I connect to this website I'm going to automatically display the contents of that folder in this pane on the left hand side here remote de de default remote directory sorry is going to be you can leave it blank um, or you can have the default directory for fast hosts is this htdocs folder which I will cover in a bit more detail but you can have it automatically um, display the contents of that folder again that's going to be what's displayed in this right hand pane that you'll see soon so I'm just going to leave that blank for now and that's so if we click connect now there we go we're in so as we can see here I'm now connected to the fast host server and we're in this htdocs folder here so this is where all your default website files need to go into this htdocs folder You've got to be a little bit careful because you can go up a directory into uh, the root of your website and from there you can see things like the log files there's a private folder and a few other bits and pieces that you wouldn't want on your sort of your public website folders so make sure you're in the htdocs directory and now we can transfer those files across and this is all my website files here so I'm just going to select all of those and I'm going to copy them across and what this is doing now is transferring these files here from my local computer onto the remote fast host server that's finished successfully and we can see here I've got an index.html file and that's going to be my default file so if you're uploading a website your default page would be called index uh, or default I think works as well .html or PHP or whatever scripting language you're using so now if we go to our website and refresh this fastest webinars we should see yeah my website is now displaying in a browser as uh, I've uploaded the website and just to um, as we can see here I just used a free template from html5 webtemplates.co.uk and um, just to credit them for that I've not really used them before uh, but this was just a, a nice template to use for this video and that is all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now